Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to print screen printing film positives from CorelDRAW using the multi-rip hybrid printing software. To begin with, you'll want to open up your CorelDRAW, have your graphics centered, whatever page size layout that you're looking to do. Once you have all that set, you'll want to go up to the top of the corner, click on the file menu, then come down to print. In the print menu window, you'll notice a couple of things. The first thing you want to do is you want to choose the multi-rip, stylish pro, and then whatever your printer is. In this case, we'll use the 4800. Once you have that set up, you'll need to click on the separations tab up at the top. In the separations tab, in order to get access to printing the separations, obviously you have to click print separations. And then if you want complete control, click on the use advanced settings button and click on advance. This will allow you to go ahead and set up all of your your frequencies, your angles, and also your dot size shape itself. You'll go ahead and set this up depending on based on your shop requirements, what mesh count and all the other things that you're using. Once you have that set up, go ahead and hit OK. The next thing that you'll want to look at is on the Postscript tab. Just make sure that you're using Level 2 for your compatibility. Then you can turn around, go back and click on General. On the General side, we're going to go just to the right of the multi Stylish Pro 4800 drop-down and click on the Properties button. In the Properties window, you'll have your choice. Depending on whether you're running in roller sheet mode, automatic select will allow you to just automatically select the paper tray. If you also can set it to paper tray, and then obviously we have all of our roll paper no cut, roll paper auto cut um, that you'll use for uh, printing on rolls. In this case, we'll just go ahead and use automatic select since we're doing a test on an 8.5 by 11. Go down to the bottom right corner, you'll see the advance button. When you click on the advance button, new window will open up. In this window, you will as the rip settings, you'll go ahead and set your different settings in here. If you are printing on a roll, you'll want to use Postscript custom page size. When you click on that, it opens up. It's going to ask you to put in the width and the height. The width is going to be the width of the roll media itself. The height is going to be how much film media you want to be printed out and then ultimately cut if you chose the cut option or to be spit out of the printer at which point you can cut it manually. It is important that when you set this up that you understand whether to use the short edge first or the long edge first. The trick to it is take whatever the number is in the width field and if that number is smaller than the number in the height field you would use short edge first. If the number in the width field is larger than the number in the height field, you would use long edge first. So again, the trick is if the width number is larger, use long. If the width number is shorter, use short. In the current case, we're not going to be printing to roll, so we'll just go back and set it up to US letter. Next thing that you'll come down and you'll look at is we're going to scroll down to the color mode. Since we're printing film positives, we do not need to print in CMYK, so we'll print in just grayscale. After setting that, we'll scroll down to our ink type, and in our ink type, we're going to choose the transfer ink, multi-ink, because that is what we use to print for film positives. You'll notice the warning triangle show up. So underneath media type, we'll go in and choose one of the film positives already loaded in here. Now, since there are so many different types of film positives out there, and a lot of them are just private labeled, you'll have to go through and try if different settings if you're using another film media that's not already put into multi -rip. Odds are that one of these other existing film medias are something that you can use. So in the current case, we'll go ahead and choose Mitsubishi Film. Once you have that set up, you will want to go down to your screening field and change that to document defined halftones. This way it'll pull up the settings that we put into the separations tab in the advanced window. 
after you have that set up, if you're going to use the imposition feature to, to gang up other designs, is when you would set that as well. Current case, we're not going to do that. So we'll scroll through. The one last thing, depending on how you want it to print, what film you're using, you can look at what print quality resolution that you want to print at. The higher the resolution, the more ink that's put down, typically the uh, heavier opacity that it has. At some point in time, depending on what your film is, though, uh, it, too much ink will cause the design to become blurry, even run on the film itself. So I recommend starting off with Enhance. Once you have that, go ahead and OK, OK, and print. It's then going to send the file to the RIP interface. The RIP interface will open up. In a matter of a couple seconds, you're going to notice the file will begin to come into the RIP. Once it begins the process, you'll see a status message come up. If you click on the Incoming Jobs tab, you'll see where it talks about the processing of this file. As of currently right now, it's saying Processing Graphic 1, Page 2. It's already processed the first page, and now it's beginning Page 2. The reason why it's saying that is because we are having it print CMYK film positives. It's printing all four of them right now. We can also look at the process jobs in the Pages of Printers tab. The Pages of Printers tab will allow you to look at each individual film positive that's being printed. If you want to preview each individual one, you can have two choices in the Pages of Printers tab. You can double click on the file name, and it will give you a simulated vision of what it's going to look like. If you want, you can also export out all of these graphics by highlighting them all, right clicking, and going down to export. That'll allow you to save the PRN or SPL file. If you have additional information or questions in regards to how to print film positives from Corel, please contact your distributor. Thanks.